Ko, will you include an option to have everything read in your voice in the game that you're making? That's an interesting idea. I mean... I don't think so. I don't think so. Because, hopefully, we're going to have real voice acting in it. If the right dominoes fall into place. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I think the plan is to have actual real voice acting. Because real voice actors will always be better than... Well, for the foreseeable future, for, for, for a good while, real voice actors will be better than anything AI can do. So, is this political? No. No, this is science and scientific. You start... Although I'd never use the word politics with it because it's not, it's not political at all. You start getting into more... Um, you start getting into territory that is far more uh, controversial when you start talking about the application of AI in certain industries, particularly. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about right now. That's that's a different that's a different conversation uh, with with different things at play. Am I making a game? I am. I'm making a game. Yep. I am the executive producer slash co-owner of Emberville. Which is this game here. At least it, it was here. There it is. Boop. This is my game. I'm very excited about it. It is coming along super well, and I am very excited to bring it to y'all. Mm -hmm. So it's really shaping up to be awesome. I'm very excited for it. Every time I do the meetings, it's it's it just the vision keeps getting more and more cogent. And it's, uh, it's very exciting. Very exciting. Executive produce these nuts? What? How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, the good news is I don't even go to the meetings. I just have that AI voice and, uh, and chat GPT running. And I just play old school EverQuest. I let the AI go to the meetings. and It's been working okay so far. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Told you AI has its uses. Do I? Okay, they're all watering over there. What are you doing? Resting. I need I need a really do I have like a three waterer? Do I have a three waterer? Yes. As a robe. Okay, so we're gonna drop you. We're going to bring in the Azero boss. This guy needs a better name for sure. How do you, somebody said, how do you feel about voice acting in uh, AI voice acting in games? I, I think there will be a place for AI voice acting in games, but I think it's important that it's regulated. And I think that it's important that, that it's done properly. And I, and I fundamentally feel that, that, Real voice work will almost, in every single case, always trump AI voice work. So, I I think the most important thing, like the 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 kind of mantra I live by with AI, is that AI is coming. It doesn't matter what people say or what people want. AI is coming, and I feel like it's more important right now to make sure that it's properly implemented, and that it is it is regulated than it is to try and stop it. I think a lot of people kind of just raise pitchforks and torches and say AI bad, it should never be in our industries, AI terrible, make it go away, make it stop. But that's not going to do anything. That's the problem. Making making incendiary tweets about how much you hate AI is not going to change a damn thing. So, <laughs> so I feel like it's far more important to take a realistic approach and be like, okay, it's coming. How do we do this properly? How do we do this right? Um, like, I really like what Steam is doing, for instance, GG Gabin, where they're setting up things to where it will be mandatory to report if AI art or voice work is in a game. That's awesome. That's a good first step. So we know exactly where it is. Great first step. Second step. Okay. How do we confirm that all the AI is using models that it's licensed to use? That's another step. 
Step number three. Okay, now that we've established that, how do we properly compensate the people that are getting their work used in AI? So it's it's that kind of situation. It's that kind of situation. Like you need to make sure all the all that is properly in place. And then you can hate on AI. <laughs> so, you know, but but it's more important that we establish a foundation and we make sure that it's that at least it's done as properly as we can make it. Because I mean it's it's technology, man. If anything, if anything as humans we should understand, you can't really fight technology. Like it's if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Um, and it's gonna happen on a big scale. So let's do it right. Let's do it let's do it as properly as we as we can. That's where our energy should be being spent right now. Anyway, enough about that. I'm sorry. I went off on a huge tangent there. I was talking about this last night with somebody a lot smarter than I am. <laughs> so I, I we were we were going into Ragnarok. The hell are you? Hold on. What is a Ragnarok? Yo, look at you! Damn, dude. Three transport, three kindling? That's actually damn good. Uh, wow. Alright. Can it fly? Yeah, look at that! Wow. Cool. I think this might be just a better version of our... Our guy here. Yeah, I think it is. It's just an upgrade. Uh, can we build a Ragnar Ragnarok? Ragnarok? Can we build a saddle? Ah, bummer. Oh, this boy is endgame. Okay, we're not we're not doing that right now. Okay. It's a flame variant? Cool. Consider exploring the fog of war northeast from the volcano area. There's a level 29 bird boss beacon. And yes, you must name it Bacon. That will be your next flyer at 34, even faster than Vanworm. Okay, northeast from Volcano. I will take a look. Thank you. So there's some here. Oh, got it. I have way too many eggs. Unacceptable. Uh, let's put you away for now. We just got to make some ammo and then we're out of here. Any from which volcano? I think it means this one. So he probably means explore around here. Yep. Oh, that is way too many. Like 25. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. I said make the HQ hot spring. Good call. Uh, I need cement and pallium fragments. Oh! I did not realize I needed uh, pal liquid for that. Shoot. There's no way to farm pal liquid, is there? You just have to kill... Uh, I guess ice types? Water types? You can go over here real quick. Water pals, yeah. Or capture them, of course. Oh, I forgot to... Dang it. Dang it! Sorry, guys. Hey, Bo. Good morning. Rude. Oh, SK Stowe, good call. Yeah, I forgot about those goblin enemies. We can just go over there. Good morning, Luffy. Hey, Lady Atara, how are you? When will I start streaming the new Yakuza game? Pretty much as soon as I can. Uh, I'm hoping to tomorrow morning, but we're still trying to figure out exactly when it's going to be here, so. We will see. We will see. Good 
good we repaired all this early. You can break down the old tubs and give 10 liquid each. Ah, thank you. As we make those, we'll do that. Hey, Mr. Chiron, that's that's super valid, man. That's a good point. Yep, great point. Absolutely could happen. What's going on over there? Oh, syndicate thugs. Those got flame tornadoes? Why haven't I seen those before? Damn, dude. Okay. Cool. Oh, there we go. Now he's doing some damage. Get him, boss. Yeah, let's head over to that water area while the uh, cement is getting done. Oh, did I miss this? I must have. Have you looked more of this into the Stargate game? Uh, no, not at all, really. All right, where is the the area with the duck pals? I, I want to say it's here. The sharks, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I think we've already caught ten of them. I'm just going to shoot them. See the roadmap? I did. Okay. okay. Hey, Cobra, best of vibes to you, buddy. Ops. Hey, Co, any chance you might in the future? Because we all know you're too busy for now. Check out Sovereign Syndicate. Uh, I would love to check out Sovereign Syndicate, but unfortunately, it is literally a book. And I just got done with Rogue Trader, and I, I frankly need some time to not be reading to you nonstop. So, maybe down the road, but yeah, it's real tough to stream games that are basically just reading. I've already looked into it, because it looks like a game that's right up my jam. Or right up my alley, which would be my jam. Uh, but if you remember Disco Elysium, we didn't play Disco Elysium until it came out with the, the full voice acting mod, which frankly made it incredible. So, um, yeah, Sovereign Syndicate looks great, but it's a little hard to stream, unfortunately. But if you like Disco Elysium, I highly recommend it. In fact, it was called a combination of Disco Elysium and Arcanum, which are like some of like two of my favorite games. So I'm I'm yeah. I maybe maybe we can do it in like small bits or something one day, but we'll see. Give me one sec, guys.
What game was I just talking about? Sovereign Syndicate. Sovereign Syndicate. Sir. Get him. Is there any way to like, is there like a pet attack? Ooh, learned Ignis breath. Bro just learned a new move. Yeah, look at that. Cool. What? Press four and tell it not to attack. No, I want it, I want like right now, I want to send my pal against him. Like I would in an MMO. I want to be like, attack. Boop. Okay. Bro, he's dead. Chill. Damn. Two million concurrent players. Damn, dude. EG to the devs. GG to the devs. Huh. Alright, let's get this last one. How many do we have? Twelve! Perfect. Great. That'll be plenty of cement. And now that we know we can just come back here and farm it whenever, this is a perfect place for this. We'll let all the enemies respawn and then come back and farm some more. Grintails. Oh, he juked you. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like their eyes when they attack. Ooh, that was pretty good. Man's got some serious hops. I like it. 5%? Bro. There we go. Much better. Oh, those dudes drop high quality pal oil. I did not know that. Good to know. Why do wyverns hate lectures? They feel that lectures dragon. How is he level 22 with one of the best late game pals? Uh, I got this guy out of a rare dragon egg at the end of the stream yesterday, and we're still leveling him. So I'm actually like level 31, uh, but we're still very much leveling this guy. Yeah, we just got him out of one of these eggs, actually. Yep. The co is on fire. Oh, at least one Ignis. A, I think we've only gotten like one of those before. This will pass. I am really due for like a complete base rework. I might actually do that before we're done with this game. Maybe. Or I might save like the big base build for the next round. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. I'm torn. You're a little late. I'm already torn. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
Are you all out of faith? Yeah, you know, I think I am. Yeah, I think I'm all out, I'm all out of faith. Yeah. I think so. This is how I feel. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing any more. <laughs> That's it. We're done. <laughs> That's it. You can go Google the lyrics. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Whatever happened to her? She was like absolute. It was uh, Natalie and Bruglia, in Bruglia, right? Did she did she keep singing? I don't I don't remember hearing anything else from her. That was like decades ago. Mm -mm. One of those one hit wonders. Yeah. There we go. Oop. Did this cement get done? Oh no, not yet, but it's getting it's getting worked on. Let's finish this up and then we'll try building this uh, new pal thing. No, come back! You jerk, you fiend. You, you help me out. There we go. Did I know that Torn was a cover? I didn't know that. Oh wow, no, I had no idea Torn was a cover. Hmm. She married Daniel Johns from Silverchair? What? Wait, two one-hit wonder people married each other? That seems so right. I miss Silverchair. I remember when Silverchair came out, and everyone was like, Oh my god, it's the new Nirvana! Nirvana's back, baby! It's Silverchair! And then, like, three years later, it's like, Ew? <laughs> Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. That was not, uh... <laughs> Didn't really work out, unfortunately. I think, if I remember right, I think, like, the, the lead guy of Silverchair, like, him and the band had, like, a huge falling out when they got famous. Or something. I, I mean, I never looked into it too much, but... I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure they had, like, a massive falling out. They're silver gaming chairs now. Oh, no, no. <laughs> DX Silverchair. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. Hey, Grimstar, what's up, buddy? Co keeps using his cement on his balls instead of the hot spring. I just can't help it. I just can't help it. True. Silver chair didn't have a leg to stand on? Bro. Come on. Don't do this to me. Mm. <laughs> Is Co investing in Power World 2? Uh no, I have not in I don't I don't I was not invested in Power World before they did no longer need investment. Yes. Yeah, I don't I think Power World is kinda okay for money right now. Um something leads me to believe, but no, I never invested in this game. Drink some water before you up and die. Thank you, Greg. Can't wait to hear you in Yakuza. Mm -hmm. Do 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 is that a wild you know, voice? I usually stand up when I do my work. No, that was uh, Greg Chun and Doug Cockle. Those are custom alerts for the channel. When will co play in Shrouded? Pretty much as soon as I can. I've been having a fantastic time in this game. Um, but I want to save most of it for when there's like big updates and releases and they got a big roadmap. So, uh, we're pretty much going to switch over to Enshrouded as soon as we can. Yeah. What does that emote mean? It was Lord Fox. That little emote at the bottom, that was weird. Yeah, Enshrouded is supposed to be here in an hour. Supposedly. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Is that a Witcher shirt? It is. It's kind of hard to see because it's black on black, but it's the uh, the five signs from Witcher. I like this cool design. That's yeah, pretty badass. This shirt's super comfy. Barely says in two minutes. I don't know, man. We'll see. Um... 
Like I know it's supposed to be out in two minutes, but I I don't I don't know. We shall see, we shall see. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let me take a quick look here. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, we got that. We got cement going. We need more rock, but I think we have a but yeah, we got a bunch of people mining rock here. Am I returning to BG3 soon? Uh, I will be returning to BG3 in the near future. I don't know when that is. But yes, I am I am not done by any stretch of the imagination with uh the Dark Urge run. The Dark Urge honor mode run. It's going great. Like I'm having a fantastic time. So and don't worry, don't worry about us leaving that. Oh, we need more ingots. Let's go check our other place. Finally running out of ingots. So this is the first time we've come here with our three miners. Our three new miners. Oh, wow. Dude, did they mine it out? Oh. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> they mined everything there is to mine. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't seen that before. Uh, huh. I guess we're waiting on cooldown. So a second a rock pops up, then we'll uh, hopefully see them start mining again. Wow, there's 80 ore in there too? Oh jeez. Little note, by the way, you can grapple while encumbered. Nice. Thank you says new cycle looks fun co enjoyed your sponsored stream of it caught it on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Yeah, new cycle new cycle is a is the hotness, man. I had a great time with it. I'm looking forward to playing more as it uh develops and gets finished up. Super like banished frostpunk vibes, which I am all about. Love those games. <laughs> Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Whoa, that's I like it. <clears throat> you should make a base here. It's coal and ore. 195 minus 40. So like there ish? Right there? Yeah, I haven't really been over there too much. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's go over here. Let's check out what Madrika was talking about. So we'll head, like, north-northwest from here. What's on a cliff, too? Uh, actually, you don't want to be around cliffs. Cliffs are bad. Because a lot of times, pals will, uh... If they don't have anything to do and they wander, then they will actually wander off the cliff, and then they can't get back up. So you don't want to put your base around a cliff if you can help it. Same thing, same thing happens yeah. if you put, uh, like, a big house around where pals are. And then they'll get stuck in the house geometry and not be able to, uh, do other stuff. Can you move your bases? Yeah, and it's pretty easy in this game. Anytime you break something down, it gives you full resources. And, uh, you can, with the grappling hook, you can, like, break a base down completely, be super overweight, and then just, like, Grapple yourself to the new base via fast traveling. And you're good to go. And you're good to go. Uh, boo -boo. That's about it. Hey, vlog, what's up, man? 